What's up, Peaceful Ambition listeners and watchers? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Welcome back to another Peaceful Ambition video. So guys, it's so much craziness going on in this world today. So I just want to let you guys know from my heart to your families, to you, to your friends or whoever it is, I am praying for you guys. I am like just hoping the best of things and I'm hoping that things turn out positive guys because it's so much craziness so guys try to always remember find that peace within and just woo side sometimes find a you know an area that you can be by yourself and really just pray and just hope for the best right now so i just wanted to say that guys before we get into our topic for today so guys i've been thinking a lot about just you know what I want to become and who I am becoming because you know I had a, a recent birthday a couple months ago and you know I just feel myself like I said before I'm evolving I'm changing every day every single day you know I'm waking up and I feel energized I want to go and learn how to do a backflip and then at the same time maybe the next day you know I want to read a good book so I know that's not just me having mood swings I know that's me evolving wanting to try new things wanting to do things and I really thought you know what is one thing that you know I feel like I haven't really done for myself you know that's investing in myself i haven't invested in myself so that was like a while ago i had that thinking so just recently as you some may know i have my own merch this is not mine even though i love this t-shirt but i have my own merch it says peaceful ambition on top you guys can go to peacefulpersons.com and go ahead and check them out but you know that's it i invested in myself so not only can you invest yourself with money and you know buying things and stuff like that there's different ways to invest in yourself so guys today i just want to talk about how you can invest in yourself the different ways to invest in yourself and why you need to so let's get into it so guys when i say there's a few different ways to invest in yourself there definitely is not everything is just you know paying money for something and just making yourself look better even though that's also part of it so i wrote a few of them down so listen to this what about your mental your mental status how can you invest mentally speaking your mind to me that can help you with investing in yourself because you're teaching yourself that you are valuable that your mind that your your words and everything your thoughts matter so you're investing that you're putting that into yourself so when it's time for you to speak up for you to be confident you already have that within you because you invested it during the times when maybe you didn't have to but you still said no this is my time this is my practice i need to make sure that this is something that i am good at i'm going to learn how to speak up and speak my mind when it's needed and i'm going to do it so i'm going to invest the time invest the patience invest the courage to do it so that's just like you know mentally what about listening to yourself and doing what you want to do not saying that you have to be selfish and just say me 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 but a lot of times you know even in the society people are swayed so easily from doing what they feel like they really need to do and they do what they think society wants them to do or what their partner wants them to do or what their parents are what just will look nice to the outside people you know you really have to believe in what your process is and what you want to do and really go for it as long as you know that you know no matter what i'm not going to change my mind i'm going to go for it so you have to invest that in, into you um you know not being around negative space you know that's really hard because it's so easy to be around someone that's happy and then they can flip and be negative one second so it's really hard to stay away from that especially when you're around a lot of people but luckily we're in social distancing so you know this gives us time to really be with ourselves and to have that moment that we can you know learn to control our own brain you know if i see something if i see this shirt and i'm like oh this shirt is so cute and then my friend is with me she said oh that shirt is ugly girl do not get that you know it might be ugly to her but she's not wearing it she's not the person that wants to buy it so if you want to be negative about the shirt cool I'm going to wear it and I'm going to rock it and I don't care. So, you know, mentally you have to invest those things so you can be that healthy person. So not only mentally, physically, of course, you know, eating better, guys. That's something that we have to do. 
I'm not gonna lie, I have to work on that, but eating better, um, exercising, getting enough rest, that's so important to get enough rest. I don't think I get enough rest, not at all. And, you know, my baby is wanting some change, but she still wakes up in the middle of the night, I still breastfeed. So that's something that I had to learn how to kind of control and also invest in because if I want me to be living my happy life and my best life, I gotta have energy from sleeping. So I gotta learn how to control that just to alter everything else to put it in place to make me feel rested and make me be a better person. Also, guys, treat yourself. It is okay to go get your nails done, get your hair done, get an extra Sunday or whatever whatever the case is. I'm pretty sure that you are taking care of you as well as many other people. And if not, so what? You're taking care of yourself. That is your job. Treat yourself. Make yourself feel special. You shouldn't need other people to buy you things and to tell you how you feel or how you look for you to feel that way. Treat yourself, guys financially that's a good way guys when we think about investing most people think about financially having money even though it's not only just finance but in this particular way you can save your money that's a great way to invest in yourself guys when things happen down the line and you know you don't have anyone to turn to to help you but you got that little nest egg in the bank you got something to help you so guys always try to invest in yourself in that way especially if you're a grown adult you know you can't look to other people you have to be able to take care of yourself so anytime you do have a lump sum or anything that you can spare try to put it away guys open up a business start a business if it's either online or a business you know just flipping things guys do something that can continue on your legacy you know there's nothing wrong with working not at all but it's great to start a business it's great to have something that's your own that's truly investing yourself you know when you're long and gone you know yeah people are going to remember the memories that they have with you and everything else but what about that product that you have in people homes every day that's staring back at them that's your investment that's carrying on your legacy your children's children is going to carry on that legacy so you know it's not going to be great at first it's always going to be hard work but guys invest in yourself you know take classes take online classes do what you have to do do those things that you think that you know are going to just help you in general as grown as a person guys i always say that you know if i'm going through it i want to help you guys or tell you guys about it so you know i just feel like me reaching out trying to do my merch and everything is a way of me investing not only to give money of course but to also you know step outside my box to show myself that i can do something that i've never even thought of doing up until recently so you know that how that's how i know that i'm maturing because i'm wanting to do things that i've never done i want to take those chances i want to feel like i'm spreading my wings and i'm truly living life and i'm not just going through the same routine and you know i know that this is just the baby steps and i'm going to go up and i might get knocked down i'm going to have to get back up so i know that i'm going to have to put myself to the test and that's also investing you know i'm willing to put in the fights put you know fight those little battles and everything to get to the championship because i know that i know what i want so i'm going to go for my goal and i'm going to stay on my plan i'm not going to let other people persuade me to think any differently because i'm investing in myself so guys you need to know when to invest in yourself. Kind of like what I just said. When you feel like you're just living life the same old same, you know that what you're doing is not what you want to do. You want to be a better person overall. That's when you need to know you need to invest. Not only financially, but physically, mentally, you know, spirit spiritually or whatever the case is. If you feel like you need to invest in a different way, just change up your whole look, then go for it. It's you. As long as it's not hurting you or anybody else, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do it. Just make sure that you're what you're doing is for you and it's not for anyone else because once you make that change you know you color your hair or you chop your hair off because that's the way your boyfriend may like it or your girlfriend may like it and you're going to have to be stuck with that for a while so you really want to be careful when you're doing things for other people or even when you're starting a business you know you're putting money into it you're putting time into it and time you can't get back so you definitely want to make sure that whatever you are investing in, it's worth it. So you definitely want to think about it to yourself before you reach out and try to, you know, tell other people or incorporate them in your plan. Okay, so why should we even try to invest in ourselves? What if we're happy with the life that we have? What if we feel like the life that we have is the life that we deserve, the life that we're okay with? If that's the case, then cool. Then maybe you invested what you're supposed to invest in yourself. But there are a certain percentage or a small percentage of people that are not okay with how they're living. They know that they have so much more potential. And if that is you, then you need to invest in yourself. You need to go ahead and be that person that you want to be. Because if you feel like you're not happy with your life, then that means that you're not happy with where you are at in life 
and you know that's okay that means that you have more dreams you have more things that you want to accomplish and that's actually a great thing because you want to keep growing you want to keep up the momentum keep going up you don't want to stop you don't want to say hey i'm a manager here so i'm good what you can own that franchise never give up never try to think small always open your mind up to something bigger because just because you're a worker there you could be an owner there so you know you have to keep on doing those things and investing in yourself just gets you ready for when you do have that franchise and you're running your own business um you know employee 50 employees are under or whatever the case is guys never think that where you are is where you need to stay never never as long as you're breathing there's always growth as long as i'm breathing i know that there's always going to be growth and i'm always going to try to take my time and to get where i need to go i know back in the day back a couple of years i was living with my guiding counselor from um college and it was me and akira we were living there and i was taking care of akira i was um working uh part-time i was a full-time student i was just doing too much I was simply just doing too much in the semester and I was failing in my classes. I wasn't focused because you know I was tired from being a mom with under a one year old. Also, I think I was trying to get back into track. So I was like, I was just trying to do too much. I was trying to do too much, but I always tried to just do everything because I just want to do it and get over it and say that I did it. But at the same time, I wasn't investing in myself properly. Yeah, I was doing the things, but I was going through the motion. I wasn't really taking in everything that I really had to do. So, you know, my guidance counselor, you know, we lived together. So one day we were watching TV and she just said, you know, Tierra, you're a really smart girl, but you put too much on yourself and you disappoint yourself. And, you know, at first I felt offended, like, what? I don't put too much on myself. You know, I got this, I can handle this. But then I thought about it, like, you're stressing your own self out, you know? Guys, you gotta know when and how to invest in yourself. You know, it's okay to want to do a lot but if it's too much that you're overwhelming yourself and overpowering yourself and making it that you're not succeeding in the things that you're doing, then you're not investing the right way. So you also have to think about that. Just like if you're going to invest in the stock market, you're not just going to throw everything on everything. No, you're going to research it and then you're going to take your time and you're going to, you know, put your toe in it and then you're going to keep on going. So that's something to remember, guys. Make sure that you're investing in the right way and in the right things. Because like I said, time doesn't come back. Once you spend that time on whatever that particular trade is or whatever the case is you don't get that back so we have to be smart about it guys i'm going through this i'm learning step by step so as long as i'm learning guys i hope that you guys are actually you know doing it and we can all learn together make sure you guys comment down below anything that you want to add i appreciate you guys for um supporting me as peaceful ambition guys again i have a few shirts left you guys can go ahead and go to peacefulpersons.com i'm working on hoodies and different apparel i appreciate you guys so much and i thank you guys for so much for supporting me supporting me <laughs> please comment down below share this video you never know how i can help anyone else make sure you guys follow the wise family five also on youtube facebook and instagram as well as dancehall critics my husband boss life your trucker go ahead and hit him up you can get a lot of information and also hit up my girl simone